All right, man, so how'd you want to get his haircut today? Take the sides in short, leave the top a little longer just so we can style it to the left. I'm gonna do the first the first pat part right here and I'm gonna hand you the clippers and then you can do the other side and try awesome. to match it. All right. Sounds good. So these are hair clippers. These are uh, gamma clippers. They're just, uh, they're adjustable. The more you open this up, the longer it cuts. Oh, okay. So um, we're gonna start with this guard, which is the number eight, and it's gonna leave it about an inch long. We can actually run the guard through first without the clipper to see actually how long it's gonna, how much it's gonna take off to kind of give us an idea. So it looks like it's gonna take off like yeah, half. That's cool? perfect, yeah. And then we can even give us a little bit more room for error by opening it up just a little bit. Because that'll shorten it. Yeah, because that's, so it's merely gonna be like an inch and a half okay. when, when we do this. I'm gonna take my comb, because I always have one tool in each hand. So I got a clipper in my right hand, comb in my left hand. So if we're parting it, we may wanna be careful, of like we wanna make sure we leave enough length so it can lay down. Is that what we're going for? Yeah. So this is just water right here. It's a nice little spray bottle, see? Ready, just some water. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just spray a little bit. It we don't have to get it like soaking wet. It's just, just enough to kind of get that hair to lay down. Okay. And his hair is like super soft, so yeah. it's not gonna be like really hard to do that. So you don't need like a super fancy comb like this, but like you see how like this comb, this uh, tooth right here? Mm -hmm. This tooth isn't like missing. It's actually done like that on purpose so that you can make a part. What I'm gonna do here is uh, use that one tooth, which you can do this with any comb. This is just specifically designed for that. Have that or is it just that one? It's just, well, you can actually just take a regular take comb a regular and just comb break off the, <laughs> if, if you want to. <laughs> but yeah, you're just, uh, you're gonna take this comb okay. and he's trying to pay attention too. Yeah. So just kind of. Oh, I see, and just kind of do that. Yeah, like that, but without him turning his head. So we'll just do that. And you want to do this before you start cutting because once you start, once you start cutting, it's it's too late. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, pretty straight yeah. for right yeah. now. You can always some, make some adjustments later. Uh, I like to have the part maybe like a little lower than what I actually, it might, if you're not sure, go, you can go lower because you can always make it higher. Okay, you know, that makes sense. So like if this is where I want it, where we want it, mm -hmm. it's technically gonna be lower you're saying or it's gonna be higher? I would just, so this is where, you want to look for the natural part, mm -hmm. like where, where it naturally wants to do it. And then we just, all we did was really just straighten it out. But like, if you're not sure, then I would say just make the line like lower than like, don't start okay. up here, you know? Just yeah, like, yeah, just start it lower. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. It's number eight, with the lever all the way open, and we're gonna make the first <laughs> cut. Sometimes it takes, uh, you know, they need to warm up to the, yeah. the tool a little bit, and maybe just do a little bit, and then kind of relax, let them realize like it's not the end of the world. Ready? Hold, hold really still, okay? Wow. Let's see. So that took off like maybe three quarters of an inch. Yeah. It also helps kind of start the blend too, because you're, you're cutting into like longer hair. Whenever you're cutting, like when we're cutting kids' hair in the barbershop, it really helps like, you know, obviously we want to do a good job, but kids are much less impatient than adults. Yeah. And some, sometimes. So it helps to kind of like try to get this as quickly as possible. Yeah. And I'm just gonna take it just a little bit higher. And notice how I'm like scooping the clipper out too. That also helps kind of start the blend. Yeah, so you can blend it this way and you can also scoop out like this to help kind of start that blending process. Okay. He's got a pretty, pretty good cowlick back here. Yeah. So we're actually gonna drop it a little bit lower in the back because we need to leave some length here in order for that not to like stick, stick up. Out. Okay. Um, so instead of going as high as we did on the side here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down a little bit lower and then I'm gonna do basically down here, which is actually really a little bit harder on kids his age because the back of their neck is like caves in. Yeah. So he really has to look all the way down for in order for that to flatten out. Try to get his head right. Yeah, so if, if she wants to grab the Bone, like, right. mirror or something to kind of get his chin to touch his chest. Yeah. So you see how that kind of flattened oh, out I see just by him looking it's caved it, in. Yeah, if he's, if he's up, it's just a really hard angle. Okay. So try to, whatever you can do to get him to like put his chin to his chest, okay. that's really gonna help straighten that out. And that's also gonna help later once we do the lining up. All right, so that's pretty much it for the first part. You ready to take over for the sure, next other part? All right. And you can start anywhere you want. Okay, so I start here. Yep. Put your um your thumb right there. Yeah, there you go. Does that feel better? Yeah, it does. Good job. Yeah, see, so you're natural. <laughs> Just try to that's keep like that. Point. Try to keep that whole guard flat against his head, and to and then lift it out once you get to that spot. That's try that perfect. I would say with this first pass, just try to focus on getting as much done as you can, and then we'll go back and, okay. and do you know make sure we didn't miss any hairs. So that helps with the uh, efficiency. Just just kind of quick just it. take out all the bulk first, and yeah. then go back and then, and then clean, clean up everything you might have missed. Yeah, so like that good, we think. 
Yeah, you, you want to keep the guard though on the scalp okay. until you get to that spot. So I'll just show you real quick. So like I'm gonna do it over here. But see how I'm keeping the guard on there, and then I want to stop here. So now I'm gonna pull the comb down. Okay. So I guess put the clipper down first. Okay. And then cut up, and then pull the comb down at the same time. You make it look very easy. <laughs> I've done a few haircuts. Yeah. So like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Perfect. So in order to keep the, the kids, and when we do this with adults too, in order to keep them comfortable, I try to blow them off, I'll blow the loose hair off periodically. The haircut. <laughs> Up. <laughs> All right, we can keep going. When you notice them like pulling at the, that's like a thing that I look for. So that means oh, they're, that they're, they're getting a little uncomfortable. Right. Same thing with adults. Let's yeah, make sure okay. that the sides are even right now. So on this side and then we're here. So does it look it's like we probably it's need to go a little bit higher, higher on the side? Here, yeah. So then we'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and line them up okay. because that's gonna be in the. We'll just tie every, the tie the top end to the sides in the next step. Okay. I'm switching to this brush because whenever I'm doing lineups, uh, especially with kids, mm -hmm. I wanna. I don't want to scratch them, and I also want that hair to really stay in place. So I like to use the brush whenever I'm doing lineups. Okay. Um, you don't have to, especially with this length. You could get away with a comb. It's just a preference for okay. me. But if you have one, I would recommend like use practicing with this. So this one is probably gonna be the hardest thing that we do. So. We're gonna turn the trimmer on and I'm, hold, I'm just holding it like this with my thumb here. We're gonna need mom's help here. All right, so I'm really holding his head this time um, because I don't really don't want him to move. So I'm, I'm looking for a spot that I can use as a guide for his ear here. So I'm gonna use his, uh, I think that's called a tragus right there. And I'm gonna put the trimmer right there to be in line with that. Okay. <laughs> he's in like that. <laughs> yeah, and these actually are not are not my sharp trimmers, so you don't want to use like super sharp trimmers on kids, on kid. especially. These are these. I have two. These are the ones are these are the Andes uh, Slimline Pro Li ones, and I they are slightly sharper than they would come out of the box, but they're not like super what sharp. The, yeah, they, yeah. So they do it for an adult. Yeah. So unless you go in here with the wrong angle or use too much pressure, uh, and that's why you got to be like you got to be gotta fast. Be quick. <laughs> you know, they can, turn really quick. they can turn their head yeah. and. and is that probably why holding their head would help? It does, but you still gotta, gotta be, be ready to pull that trimmer turn. away at any, cause you, you can get the whole haircut perfect. And then if you, if this part gets messed up, then, then you messed. gotta redo the whole yeah. thing. So just gotta be very, Job, Roman. reaction time has to be, <laughs> reaction time has to be pretty, pretty good here. Except if it doesn't like the trimmer as much. Good job. All right, so going around the ears is probably the most, one of the most intimidating things with kids because their ears are so soft, it's really easy to cut their, cut their, cut their ears. Yeah. So uh, you want to also this whole thing, we want to try to be efficient. So what I'm going to do is really hold his head. I'm going to go with this, in this direction towards the top of the ear. Okay. And then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to go from here and meet it at the top. Okay. Because if you go all the way over, you can end up or going this way and try to go over you can end up uh, going too high okay. and, and making a little gash there. So. so, And I also put the finger down first for stability, but it's even more helpful with kids because they feel that finger first as first, opposed first to that. Some, okay. So notice that I'm putting like my finger here for, to brace the trimmer, but also to kind of, I want them, the first thing they feel to be the trimmer. So. And with him, because of the way he reacted the first couple times, um, I'm actually trying not to touch his skin that much with the, ears, with the trimmer, because yeah. I don't, really don't want him to move during this part. So. Looks like he's getting close to nap time. Yeah, and if you don't have a blow dryer at home, you, you can always just use a towel, or you can get like a neck duster, which we're not supposed to use those in the shop because you can't clean them. But at home, you can you can get, just get a neck duster and you know, clean them off that way. It just like basically looks like a big brush. Oh, okay. So I went over to the. I'm gonna go to the top of his ear, and this is where the brush comes in handy. Like I'm laying it down, but I'm also cleaning it. So that way I can see what's loose hair and what need actually still needs to be cut. So this is it. This is the part right here where you can easily cut it. Is where like the top of their ear connects to their head. So I wouldn't put the trimmer right there, you know? <laughs> You're doing good, man. You're doing good. Job, Roman. You can also do something like this. So you can grab his head mm -hmm. and use your thumb to kind of push down the ear like that. And then I use the brush to kind of clean this area. 
Now we're gonna give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> so I use the this part right here. This is the moving blade. This is the non-moving blade. Uh, you want to put the moving blade on their skin when you're making lines. When you're removing bulk, mm -hmm. I flip it over and I use the non-moving blade because I don't want to irritate them. So what what I would what that means is instead of making your line and then just going down like that, Turn you can around. yeah I would make the line and then everything underneath I would flip the tremor back over and like clean it up with uh, the non-moving blade just to really minimize the chances that you're gonna like gotcha. ir irritate their skin. Okay. We're gonna move on to the back now. There's still some hairs here that we gotta get, but yeah, I'm gonna get them, let, them, let them chill for a second there. So just like when we were doing the clippers back here, we uh, if he's like got his chin to his chest, mm -hmm. it's gonna straighten this out. So he's doing pretty good. So we're gonna lower this. So we can get as much as we can back there. Use this brush to lay those hairs down. And I'm also being mindful of the angle that I'm using. So I'm not going in like this because the, the more you have this moving blade on the skin, the sharper it's gonna cut. Gotcha. So if I wanted it to cut really sharp, I would go in at this angle, but I don't. So I'm actually tilting the trimmer down. like this. Okay. So I wanna like make it like as comfortable for him as possible. I'm just gonna round it off just because it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of goes with his natural hairline. So I'm gonna let you practice so you can kind of see where his natural hairline is. Yeah. So just follow that. So right you're there. saying like just not like not straight on but like this? Yeah, that's the, that's the angle that I would use. There you go. And just oop, yeah. <laughs> that's just insane, though, yeah. <laughs> just be just hold that head down. There you go. Try to use, use that finger. Like, oh, the finger? Yeah, it's gonna feel really weird. The reason I use the finger is kind of like writing. You know, like, you ask anybody to write anything on, the first thing they're gonna do is put their hand. put their hand like this for to sense. brace it. So it's the same with the trimmer, although it feels really weird at first, but if you practice it, you're gonna be like, man, I'm never doing it without it. Without it. All right, that's good. Let's stop right there. He just moves a lot less when I'm doing that, see? He just gives me a look. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the top, but for the sides, let's uh, move on to yeah. the top. Okay. All we need for this step is scissors and a comb. Pretty easy. I'm gonna start on this side. All right, so what we're trying to do, this the reason why there's a line here is because there's different lengths. In order to, to blend that, we need to have the comb here, grab it, and find where these lengths are kind of differing. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to pull it out at the same, kind of the same, straight out from the head. And we're looking for where the short hair, where the hair is at the shortest. And then it, this is what needs to come off. This is our guide. Okay. okay. So we made our first guide with our clippers. So then we're just gonna start blending it. And do you have the, the thinning the shears, shears at home? I do, I have those. Okay. We're gonna use those in the next step. Okay. Cause that'll help blend yeah, this even more. Yeah, pretty good last time I did it with trying to blend for the most part. Yeah, those kind of those kind of help finish the blend, but it's it's really hard to like- Just do that. Do a yeah. whole haircut with That's just those. That's what I did and it would work out good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it might look blended, but it's gonna be like really uneven if like you that. only, <laughs> if you only use blending shears. <laughs> yeah, but it's better than nothing, you know? Yeah. But it does come in handy for certain situations. Like back here, we're not gonna really be able to take too much length off. Yeah because otherwise all this is gonna poof up. Yeah. And um, if we keep going shorter here, um, it's gonna start to stick out. So that's where those blending shears come in. So uh, you can also do scissor over comb. So what that looks like is you bring the comb out a little bit, and just do like that, just the very, just the very ends. But you just do a little bit with this because it's, a, it's really easy to take off too way much. too much. Yeah. And then back here, we're gonna keep doing the same thing. Look at how this, so this is how I'm holding, now again, you don't have to do it exactly yeah. how I'm, I'm doing, <laughs> but this is how I'm, so I have my, uh, my, one, my, right, my ring finger through this part of the shear. So that goes there. And then my pinky goes on, on this rest, okay. okay? And then my, when I'm combing it, I have it like that. Some barbers do it differently, but this feels comfortable for me. So you just comb it like this. Use this hand to find to hold your the whole hold the hair, and my fingers are tight so that that yeah, hair is yeah. even. And then you just do a little bit at a time. So he's, he does way better with the scissors. 
Probably because he's more used to that. Yeah. So this is probably gonna be a lot faster than, than the clippers. But again, look, I'm seeing where the guide is, then that hair is longer than that. So that mm -hmm. means that, that needs to come off. So yeah. And you just wanna be careful not to cut your not to cut your knuckle there. So the way to avoid that oh, instead of cutting it. Way to I mean I have my finger kinda turned, but if you if you're not doing that, then the way to avoid that is just don't cut past your second knuckle here. Because then if that's you, where that's you can cut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'm also gonna do this side of the top too. Okay. So when we're cutting the front, if you wanna avoid the, f the front being shorter than the rest, then all you gotta do is c pull it up like this mm -hmm. and then over direct it, which all that means is basically pull it slightly back towards you. Okay. And I'm cutting it dry, although it's gonna be a little bit more uncomfortable for him because this is gonna have some dry hair falling in his face, but it's gonna give you a better idea of how well it's actually blended okay. if you cut the top dry. We're taking this front section here and we don't wanna do too much too. Like we don't wanna do like you know, yeah, like that like that would be way too much because then it's gonna end up uneven so right. that much good that's perfect all right and then we're gonna pull it back a little bit towards us so we take a little bit less off and we'll start with that so then I'm, I'm not gonna let this hair go I'm gonna start my comb here through try and then let it go and then pull it back up and then you can use your comb to kind of figure out where it was before. where the guide was gotcha. and then that's how much I take off and notice I'm not I'm not like yanking on his hair, but like yeah. I've got pretty good tension on here and it's yeah. not bothering him at all. Front looks a little uneven, okay. which is normal. Um, so we can pull it, comb it like this towards us and take whatever's going beyond our guide there. Now as far as, we, we still need to do some cutting over here, but as far as cross-checking goes, so you basically, to cross-check, you just cut the opposite, I mean, you, of what you did when you first did it. Does that make sense? So if we cut from front to back, mm -hmm. then we're gonna check if it's even by doing it from the side. So okay. we, we cut this way, one step, you know, one, two, three, and then we're gonna step to the side and pull it straight up to see if there's anything that's uneven after. So kind of the other, the opposite way of what you just cut. Mm -hmm. So these, it's way harder to mess up. So you can go like probably a lot quicker, quicker with yeah. these. And I'm just gonna do pretty much scissor over comb the whole time, which scissor okay. over comb is like, it's just this. Just moving. Yeah, so this is gonna be a little bit quicker than everything else we've done. Um, still gotta be mindful that he doesn't like turn his head. Yeah. So what we're just gonna do a little bit, comb it, see if, we, if it's still dark and then move on. I'm just doing the ends too. I'm not doing all the way close to his scalp because if, you, if you go close to his scalp, then it's gonna get, that's when it gets real spiky because that short, you're cutting the hair really short and it just wants to stick up. So you really just wanna do, wrong. yeah, just maybe the middle of the hair towards the end, but not like close to the just scalp. Just like the edges kind of. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you need to remove length, you need, you need the other scissors. If you need to blend something that you already cut, then that's where these come in. And if there's ever like, uh, there's a trick that I learned when I was first started cutting hair, but if there's a lot of uh, hair that's stuck in these blending shears or in those, um, you can just tap them on the comb like that. It gets it all out. Yeah, just a quick tap it and go. All right, so I'm gonna let you try a little bit. Yeah, move them, move, moving at the, you're always moving when you're doing arm that way. And just do different, different sections. Cutting, cutting the same. I cut the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, these are all like pretty advanced, I mean, techniques that we're showing you. So it would be normal that you don't like I'm not good pick it up like right away, you know? All right, so this is a, the tea tree matte cream. This is a water soluble product. A lot of the products nowadays are water soluble. Um, his hair is pretty much dry now. So if you just put it in there without anything, it's gonna be like clump up. So you don't wanna get his hair soaking wet, but just a little bit to help kind of distribute that product through. So I'm just gonna do really just that that's all you need and then we're gonna comb it <laughs> comb it through like that and then with this stuff this is a medium medium hold matte finish because it's medium hold and his hair is kind of fine and you really don't need that much so I would say sure. that much. you can always add more so that much to yeah. start with put in your hands and then you want to warm it up <laughs> you want to warm it up in your hands like this and then just kind of distribute with your fingers by his part here, I'm kind of doing like that to kind of spread it apart. And now that we have the product in his hair, and I still got some on my hands, I'm gonna get my comb back out and then help kind of more evenly distribute it like that. 
And back here, you might need a little bit extra, especially if you went too short. Okay, but, but then you want to comb it with, see the direction that it's going yeah. in. In order for that to lay down, you want to comb it with it. The way it's supposed to be. I'm so surprised that he <laughs> made it through this uh, <laughs> ordeal. He's ready for Hollywood now. Ready for his nap? Yeah, nap. This is the end result. Good job. Yeah, I crushed it. Yeah, man. Yeah.